Now, this is uh, Dr. Ravi Kumar. I am an executive committee member of this Parasakti temple from 1996. Now, we have Dr. Kumar. He is the president of this temple, spiritual director and founder of this temple. And he is going to explain little bit about this temple and also going to answer some of our question and why do we need to join in this fundraising for the rest of the world. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Kumar. Can you please explain about this temple a little bit? Uh, Dr. Ravi, you have been involved from the beginning. This is not a regular temple. It's a very mystical uh, temple which was designed by Divine Mother herself. She appeared and said, the world is going to go through major crisis. So I will help you people to build a house of worship where all of you can come and be protected by my uh, various aspects. So this temple is a very, very unique, mystical, uh, unusual uh, temple. It's a Kundalini uh, temple. And the medium was Mother Meenakshi. In uh, Nadi uh, Josium, she came and said, 50 years from now, you will build the house of worship where all my devotees would come participate. And that happened in 1994 to 9, 2000. And since then, many lives has changed a lot, as she predicted. And 2001 attack happened. Now this uh, major uh, crisis uh, with the virus. All this was predicted, and I have been telling this to our devotees for the past few years. The reason why she expanded it is there are millions and millions of aspects of Divine Mother and we should try to think as many uh, of, of as many aspects of her as possible. Ultimately, it's the mind which perceives. Mind is very important. And through the mind, we perceive various aspects and then we contemplate. In prayer, we uh, talk to Divine. It's good to come here and talk since it is a very divine place. But listening is more important. That is the reason why we, uh, we medit meditate. Meditation really means contemplation, intense contemplation and listening. And many of our devotees in this temple have had wonderful experiences where we can hear those cosmic energies. I call them Yakshinis, Mohinis, with the other us. All our intermediate cosmic energy through whom we can receive her. Ultimately, it's all one pure consciousness which comes through many, many areas. Right now, I'm standing in front of Divine Mother behind me. And to the left of me is Balai Tripur Sundari. Behind me is Lalita Tripur Sundari. And since the construction, many, many wonderful, miraculous things have happened here. And many sages, many uh, rishis, some and Jiva Samatis have visited our temple. And she plans uh, many, many uh, jobs for me to go to various parts in India, like Himalayas, many times I go and do yatras. And those are all uh, Tirtha yatras. Uh, those are Pratiniti yatras, where I go as your representative to those sites. And one of these days we'll give, give you the, detail, the, the details about those yatras. And once you know what all has been done, your mind gets attracted, gets fixed in those areas. And it's you, like you doing the yatra yourself. Maybe in the next month when we have more time, we'll do that. Now we have just a few minutes. Go ahead, Dr. Yeah. Ravi, ask your question. And uh, one more important thing, whenever Dr. Kumar speaks and shares the information, he goes into the different plane where he communicates directly with the mother and shares the messages. And that's the same way he's sharing these messages for all of us and rest of the people who are watching this video. Now, the, you are, we are starting this fundraising and why do you want to share this fundraising for the public people and rest of the world instead of getting the loan from the bank? Getting a loan from the bank does not make people receive the grace. To receive the grace, you should give an important aspect of you. It's like a sacrifice. But truly, it's not a sacrifice because to consume her 
you have to give an important aspect of you, anything. Essentially, you're giving your soul to connect to her and receive the information from her. Among all the dana, dana is child of life, the best is to build a temple, any place of worship, because that place where people come and communicate the divine would be the most auspicious uh, uh, place. And to participate in a construction is the highest gift you can give it to anyone. I was given the gift. I enjoyed it. I received so much of her. And I want everyone to receive her. To do that, you should participate in actual construction. Uh, an episode happened here, a year ago, that ended up in expansion of the temple. And now she has brought so many aspects, hundreds and hundreds of aspects. And behind me, underneath Mother, there is a Shakti Garba. Shakti Garba is Ark of Covenant. In Judaism, they carried it, nobody knows where it is. She has given that to us and we have buried it underneath her. So in the Raja Gopuram, which she gave us a few years ago, all this uh, energies needs to be uh, appeased, meaning do Abhishegam and, and uh, uh, prayer. That uh, Shakti Garbha underneath Mother, which you cannot see, hopefully we'll have another one we'll keep outside so you can see it. It has many, many herbal uh, energies, cosmic energy. So when you do the Abhishekam, it goes to all the devatas in the Raja Gopram. The whole concept of a Raja Gopram is very unique. It is more like Raja Sanidhanas. Each one, the installation is very unique and done in the proper way. So it is just not Raja Gopram alone. It's Raja Sanidhanas. Each energy is placed properly with mantra, yantra, tantra, all the ritualistic uh, information Mother has given us, we used it. And participating in the construction of this temple is a unique opportunity that comes in once in many lifetimes. She has given it to us. I participated in it in the beginning. I'm again participating in it. And Mother said, give it to everyone so they can consume me. So whatever I give them, I want them to consume. If, if they don't consume, they don't receive it. The Atman mm. won't be pleased. Okay. So give them a chance to come and participate in whatever capacity they can, All depending right. on the capacity, right. so they can receive me and get my grace. Wonderful. Now, well, why do they, what are the benefits they are going to get after whatever they can donate in this fundraising for the sake of the temple and for the future development? Doing charitable act mind to help the mind body intellect aspect the shell aspect of us is good we do all of us do charity but doing it for Atman which is eternal it stays forever so your charitable act your Atman is eternal so that's the way that's the area you want to give but it's the only way we can give to construct a temple which is designed by mother where she comes and gives what each one needs. So when I ask mother to do things for people, I ask her, do what is best for that soul. But only she knows what that soul needs. So this place is like that. And now she has given a wonderful opportunity to actually participate in the construction where thousands of people will come and benefit. And we are participant in distribution of a grace. Our mission is to experience her to explore her and to feel her and consume her. Yes. That is our mission. Yes. To do that, she has helped us. Yes. For instance, even that place is a very holy place. There's a running river underneath. Building a temple on top of a river is the most auspicious. Very few places you will see that. She has chosen the place. There's a running river. She has given the place. She said, build my house. So by donating money for this fundraising... For so that goes to the Atman, okay. which is forever. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, please your mind, body, intellect, ego aspect of you, yes. which is perishable, temporarily it stays, okay. which, is, which is good to do. Okay. But something which is eternal of you, which would be so pleased, okay. you want to do that. And what about the future generation? For your, for your own uh, 
you are talking about your own generation yeah the punya would go to them for sure okay but it will come to you mm. and you will come back again and receive it that oh. is a different way of explaining it but this becomes eternal something which is forever your atman is pleased the ultimate aim is realize your atman and please the atman which is eternal Very pleasing good. the mind body intellect is temporary which is okay to do nothing wrong but here she has chosen the place best possible place her house can be built okay. which we would not have known okay so she has done everything including uh, making us participate uh, all these things needed she makes sure we do it okay. have we may not know okay. okay so in this unique place the unique opportunity she decides what does your soul need okay. and she tells you what to do right. what you will do you would know okay and you will do it and uh, now we are going to have the, around 30 or more than 30 sanidhanams in the upcoming temple do you think we are we absolutely need those 30 sanidhanams and how it is going to be beneficial for the community and for the entire world this temple is a protective temple she said build this temple in kali yuga so i can my aspect can protect against asuric aspect asuric aspects also created by her it's a game between asuras and devas so she knows how is the most effective way we can receive her there are many many people would come and each one will have the own ishta devatas she knows how many of it people would come here and want to see that ishta devata and feel it since they don't know it since we don't know it she brings them obviously she has chosen them to for the world protection secondarily for the people to receive the ishta devata since they may not know she chooses what is most important for instance next to drishti pita we will have 14 deities wow. they are very close to our level of consciousness they are all uh, some temple will have them but not all 14 of them i have never seen them obviously those are needed in this troubled time this is kali yuga we expect things to get worse even this virus will go away but something else will come mm. and even the effect of the virus will last for a long time it's not just a health effect political effect economic effect war it can lead to many many things you will see it as time goes on and she will her aspects of her she's bringing here she chose them and that will effectively protect the world and protect the community okay. you see this temple is for the world not for hindus not for one particular thing. it's for the world it's for the human it is against asura it will protect anyone with faith and knowledge okay so as you say so this temple it's not meant only for the hindu people to come and participate join the activities or any other community any other religion people they are, are they allowed to come join the uh, any participation any activities in the temple answer is obviously yes there's only one divine which is pure consciousness which is all existent she became trillions and trillions us and obviously it is for everyone and the benefit will go to any uh, life forms mm. not just human any life forms which contemplates with things of the origin mm. they will benefit from this so this temple is not uh, it's although hindu philosophy to begin with uh, because hindu philosophy is very uh, practical uh, very deep very profound goes long before you and vedas and tantras uh, so that is for everyone and it's the effective way for atman to reach paramatma i see so in, any religion any, any community background anyone is anyone. welcome to this temple yes. join the activities yes anyone wonderful wonderful and uh, now we have this temple tower which is uh, completed the construction during the year 2015 which holds 215 i mean 520 devatas or vikrahams are there and those are energy component of the entire cosmos so do you think uh, the 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 presence of these 520 cosmic energies absolutely necessary is it necessary only for this community or only for the us or for the entire world for the entire world because this kali yuga is for the entire world to, pro- to be protected not only from physical enemy psychic enemy emotional enemy spiritual enemy that will protect against all of them so it is meant for the entire world the entire world all life forms wonderful wonderful anyway 
Thank you, Dr. Kumar. It's very nice of you to help us to learn a little bit more and it will help the more people who are watching this video to donate generously to join this participation and to benefit their life and their future generation also. Thank you, Dr. Kumar. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. Okay.